Assalamu alaikum students and a very good morning to you all. Welcome to your English class. Can you hear me? Am I audible to you all? Please reply me in the chat box students. Who is this with the name Muhammad Abdul Basir? Muhammad Abdul Basir kindly uh, rename yourself beta. Appear here with your registered name, okay? Abdul Basir Good morning on Walikum Assalam Umema. Okay, thank you, Iman Hasham, Umema, and Alina Salman and on for your timely response. Thank you, everyone. Walikum Assalam Alina Salman. Okay, students, so we are going to start our today's lecture. Okay. And this is our English literature lecture, lecture number twenty four. All right. I hope you all are having your literature box and your copies along with your stationery box with you. Walikum assalam Raja Rizwan. Okay, Sana Hafiz, please rename yourself. I think you are here. Okay, okay, Sana Hafiz, that's fine. Who is here with the name Abir Khan? Abir Khan. Abir, rename yourself. Abir Khan, whosoever is here with the name Abir Khan, please rename yourself and appear here with your registered name, okay? Abir Khan. All right. All right, students, uh, we are going to start our today's lecture. I hope you all are with me. You are having your stationery box, your books and copies with you. We are going to start our new lesson today, okay? And the name of the lesson is The Sunday Morning. The Sunday Morning, okay? Sunday Morning, it's lesson number 10. Sunday Morning, page number 62, 63, okay? Open your books and keep your pencils in your hands so you may underline the difficult or the new words, okay? And uh, underline the RTC as well. Yes, uh, okay, the ID that is appearing here with the name Abir Khan is Mariam. Mariam, kindly rename yourself, Vita, and make it Mariam, okay? All right, so please concentrate on your lecture and we are going to read the chapter Huck Makes Some Friends. Huck Makes Some Friends. Are you guys ready? Shall I start now? Are you ready, students? Okay, very good. Very good, Samin. Iman, On, Alina. All right, Vita, I hope your books are open in front of you. Before starting our today's lecture, let me just quickly uh, give a review of our previous lesson, okay? Uh, the, in the last lesson, we read that Injun Joe wanted to take revenge from uh, the widow, Widow Douglas, okay? As her husband had been very hard to Injun Joe. He whipped him and he put him in the prison and in the presence of the whole town. And Injanjo could not take revenge uh, from him in his life. So he wanted to take revenge from his widow. Okay. And, uh, you know, after listening to the conversation between Injanjo and his friend Spaniard, uh, how was so scared he was so frightened and he ran to old welshman's house okay uh, in order to help widow douglas okay in order to save widow douglas from engine joe okay because they were talking about the widow douglas and uh huck was scared to hear that conversation okay 
is it clear this was the quick review of the previous lesson uh, that we read last week okay oh before last week yes the week before the last week so is there any confusion related to that lesson or you want to ask anything now we are going to start our today's lecture okay the sunday morning sunday morning lesson 10 huck makes Huck makes some friend. Better keep your mics off and just turn it on when I ask you something, okay? Thank you for your cooperation. You all are so nice. Okay, you have to listen to me very carefully because uh, I may ask any of you to start the reading anytime. I may take the names randomly, so please be alert, all right? Next morning, before it was light, Huck made his way up to the Welshman's house. I hope you remember that uh, when the gun was when the gun was fired, Huck was so frightened that he didn't uh, that, he, that he didn't bother to see what happened he just ran away from there right this happened right so he just ran away from there he didn't bother to see what is being done so next morning before it was light huck made his way up to the welshman's house He knocked on the door and a voice called, who's there? Whose door was that? Where did he knock? Yes, where did he knock? Raise your hand if you know the answer. Yes, Adisha Ame. Adisha is raising hand. In Welshman's very good very good he was knocking welshman's door very good so the voice came from there what was that voice what was the person asking yes hania rahim what voice came from the home Okay, Rama, there might be something wrong at your end because everybody can hear me clearly. Rama, check at your end, beta. There might be something wrong with your speaker or something. Old Welshman's voice. Yes, it was old Welshman's voice and he was asking that who's there, okay? Who's there? All right. Hux frightened voice answered do please let me in it's only huck finn so after listening to that voice huck answered please let me in he requested uh, the person to let him in the house okay it's only huck finn he told his name That's a name that can open the door of this house. Night or day, boy, we are glad to see you, old, said old Mr. Jones. What was the name of the Welshman? Mr. Jones, okay. What was the name of the old man? Mr. Jones. Very good, Mr. Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones. Excellent. The name of the old man was Mr. Jones. Jones and you have to remember this okay the old Welshman is Mr. Jones so what did Mr. Jones say upon hearing that the Huck was knocking the door what did he say that's a name that can that's open the door of this house day or night yes he said that this is the name that can open the door of this house anytime. It, what does it mean? On, can you please tell me what does this line mean? 
on मिस इसका मतलब था कि अगर मैं ये ना बोलूंगा तो क्योंकि मैंने उनकी जान बताई जान बचाई थी हक ने तो वो दरवाजा खोल देंगी यस इट इज बिकॉज़ दे वर अवेयर ऑफ दैट person okay uh, he was also there last night and he was a good person because he uh, asked for help to save widow douglas that's why he said that this name can open the door of this house any time day or night okay so huck was surprised no one had ever spoken so kindly to him before Huck was so surprised to hear that because uh, nobody used to talk or used to speak so politely, so kindly to him. Okay, so he was surprised that no one had ever spoken so kindly to him before. The door was quickly opened and he entered. The old man and his boys got dressed. then the door was open and he went inside the home okay now my boy i hope you are hungry because breakfast will be ready soon i and my two boys hoped you'd come back here last night to stay with us so the old welsh man welcomed um huck okay and he said that that he and his two boys means his two son were expecting huck to come last night to stay with them okay they were expecting huck to to come to their house last night i was very frightened said huck and i ran when the guns went off i didn't stop for 3 miles I've come now because I want to know what happened. Why did Huck come to the next morning to that house? Why did Huck? Okay, you Sarah is raising hand. Yes, you Sarah. Yes, he wanted to know what happened. Yes, excellent. He wanted to know what happened. That's why he came there. Okay, the next day. Very good. Okay, why did he come back to Welshman's house in the next morning? Anyone else? Yes, Shanti. I'm repeating the question. Why did Huck come back to the Welshman's house in the next morning? Miss, to know that what is happening. Okay, to know what happened last night. Okay, he wanted to know what happened last night. Very good, Shanti. Very nice. All right. and i came before it got light because i didn't want to meet those men even if they were dead he came next morning but before it was light have you seen uh, early in the morning during the dawn it's not that much light right it's not that much light up so what happened he decided to came early in the morning very early in the morning that nobody can uh, see him and he and because he did not want uh, to meet those men uh, about whom he was uh, saying this hanjan join very good arisha me he was uh, saying this about engine joe and spaniard okay and he didn't want to see them even if they were dead You do look as if you have had a bad night," said the old man. "You can sleep here, and you have had your breakfast." Now, old Welshman offered him to sleep at his home. Okay, and uh, he offered him the breakfast also. No, they are not dead. We are sorry about that. 
they got away from us so were they were they dead were were they dead no no they were not dead okay who were not dead engine jo and spaniard good alina engine jo and spaniard engine jo and spaniard were not dead okay and they managed to run away from there okay but we went down to the village and told the police so the old welshman and his sons went down the village and told the police about them okay they went off to guard the river bank and they also went to see and to look for them uh, near the river bank okay the sheriff and his men are going to search in the woods and the police started their work and they uh, the sheriff and his men went to a uh, search for them okay in the woods in the woods what does it mean in the woods in the jungle okay in the jungle means jungle okay very good um means forests good very good forest okay on you are saying that you are having something wrong with your internet oh no sorry rehma you are saying that you are having internet problem okay rehma beta uh, try to uh, attend the class and if in and if still you are having this problem you may um, have the lecture recorded lecture in your google classroom okay so the sheriff and his men uh, went to search for the engine joe and a spaniard in the woods my boys will be joining them soon means a uh, welshman means uh, mr jones boys were going to join them too were going to join the police too uh, to help them in searching for those two men okay i wish i wish we knew what they looked like since they didn't know they they had no idea about their appearance okay they didn't know how they look like it would help a lot but you couldn't see what they were like in the dark could you boy so the old welshman was asking for the appearance of those two men okay and he said that uh, you might not have seen you might not uh, have seen the appearance of those two men because of the darkness oh yes i saw them in the village and followed them Huck said that he had seen them in the village and he had followed them. Good boy, tell me what they look like. So, the Welshman asked him to tell how did the two men look like. Okay. One of them is the old deaf and dumb Spaniard that's been around here once or twice, and the others. others a mean looking ragged now he told the appearance of one person and he remained silent for the other one means he just said that he is a mean looking ragged that's it okay so um how did the two men look like how did the two men look like one was like Yes. no not like this not like this i'm not going to take your answers you just have to raise your hand then i'll take your name miss can i tell you just raise your hand then i'll take your answers okay on she yes how did they look like they look like the old beef and dumb spaniard red bean be Yes, once or two. Okay. Uh, so you have told about the appearance of the Spaniard. Meraj, Meraj, you are raising your hand. Please tell me the answer. Meraj. Welcome, Rehma. Yes, Meraj. Please answer me. 
Meraj, you are raising your hand, but you are not giving the answer. Okay. Um, so, Marusha, can you please repeat the answer? I am asking. I am repeating the question. Okay. How did the two men look like? How did the two men look like? Them was Spaniard who okay. looked like old deaf and young. Okay. And one was a looking like a mean looking person, red and red person. Okay, very nice, Marusha. Thank you for the answer. Ajwa is raising hand. Ajwa, Ajwa, can you please tell me the answer? Ajwa. Ajwa, are you with me? One of them is the old thief and the Spaniard. Okay. And what about the other one? Again, a man mean looking ragged. Okay, mean looking or ragged person. Okay, very good, Ajwa. Very nice. All right, I've taken your answers. Now I'm going to repeat the answer taken by you. Thank you, everyone, for your answers. You all have given me correct answers. Thank you. Okay, so I asked how did the two men look like, and the answer that you have given me is correct. I'm just repeating that answer. One of the two men was the old duff and dumb. Da deaf and dumb Spaniard with a white beard okay and the other man was ragged looking and mean looking man and you know who was ragged looking and mean looking man it was engine Joe. engine Joe yes it was engine Joe very good everyone that's enough boy we know the man we saw them in the woods at the back of the window at the back of the widow's place one day and they ran off when they saw us so after listening and after hearing uh, the answer from huck after knowing the appearance they just recognized those two men the old welshman and uh, his sons also have uh, seen those two men outside widow's place okay and they just ran off when they saw them okay means engine joe and spaniard just ran away when they saw um, when they saw the old welshman and his sons off with you boys and tell the sheriff you can have your breakfast let later. So a old Welsh man named Mr. Jones asked his sons to go to go at once and tell the sheriff about their appearance and everything. And he asked their he asked his sons to have the breakfast later. Okay. The Welshman's sons got up to go as they were leaving. Huck, Huck jumped up and said, Oh, Please don't tell anybody it was me that told you. Oh, please. So when those two boys, means Welshman's sons, were going to tell uh, Sheriff about the incident and about the appearance of those two men, Huck requested them not to disclose his name in front of the police. Okay. All right. If you say so. Huck, but sometimes someone ought to know how brave you were. So he they agreed not to tell his name to anybody, but he uh, they said that someone should know how brave you are. Okay. Oh no, no, please don't tell. When the young man had gone, the old Welshman said, They won't tell, and I won't. But why don't you want it known? So when they were gone, the old Welshman asked Huck that why don't you want to disclose your name? Why don't you want it to be known? And uh, he uh, then he further uh, assured him that neither uh, Welshman nor his uh, sons are going to disclose his name in front of anybody. Okay. 
Huck would not explain, but said that he already knew too much about one of those men. He didn't want the man to know, or he might kill him. So Huck didn't tell anything about them. He just said that he didn't want uh, the men, uh, because he he didn't want the men to know his name because he might kill him. Okay, he was afraid of him actually. And he feared that if he uh, if he come to know that it was Hug, then he would kill him. How did you come to follow these men, boy? Were they doing something they shouldn't have been doing? So now Welshman's another question was, uh, how did you come to follow these men? Means how come you follow those men? Okay, when those men were Spaniard and engine joe and he further asked that were they doing something wrong huck was silent that time okay huck was silent while he thought of a good reply to the old welshman's question then he said i couldn't sleep last night so i went for a walk so what did he answer him he said that he couldn't sleep that night and he went for a walk so is this the true fact was he speaking truth class was this no. so he was speaking he was not speaking truth yes he was not no. there yes very good he was not there to uh walk what why was he there umar bin salman can you answer me why was he there what was he doing there umar bin salman <laughs> What was Huck doing there? How did they find how did they find those two men? And he was yes. looking for he was keeping an eye out on the ink and he he saw those men coming out of the room number two. So he followed them and they went to Willow Douglas's house. So he came across those men that way. Okay, excellent, Omar. Oh, very nice, very good, perfect answer. So, uh, he was actually keeping the watch outside the inn just to uh, keep, uh, just to notice the movement of those two men, right? And in order to take the treasure away from the inn, but he noticed that those two men were uh, they took something from there and they uh, ran towards Vito Douglas' place. So. He started following them. That's that's how he followed them. Okay, so he just he just he didn't uh, like speak truth. He didn't tell the truth. Okay, he just lied. He said that uh, he was uh, there because uh, he was not uh, having sound sleep that night. He he couldn't sleep that night and he just went for a walk and then he noticed those two men okay please turn off your mics everyone thank you okay so huck was silent while he thought of the good reply to the old man's question then he said i couldn't sleep last night so i went for a walk i don't live anywhere special you see i came along the street at midnight and these two men came past me they had something under their arms so i thought they must have stolen it one was smoking and the other wanted a light okay so keep it till here mark till here wanted a light he just told the whole story whole wrong story to the welshman and he kept the real thing hidden okay he kept the real thing hidden he just told uh, them that he was not having sleep he couldn't sleep that night and he uh, went for a walk and he noticed those two men that's why he started following them because uh, their movement was suspicious and uh, he noticed something under uh, under the arm of one person so he thought that it is something that had been stolen okay so he started following them is it clear class 
keep it till here we are we are done with the reading we are not moving ahead we are just um, keeping it till here wanted a light mark till here in your books we are going to continue the reading tomorrow and uh, today you it's your homework day as well so i'm going to post the homework uh, let me show you quickly what you have to do you have to maintain the index like this okay then you have to make the title page you have to mention what you are going to do in this lesson that is word meaning okay and the rest of the things that you have to cover in this lesson is word meaning question answer word sentences and rtc's okay then this is your today's assignment there are six word meanings that you are going to do make sure you are doing it very neatly don't forget to mention see uh, homework in at the top and uh, the date okay is it clear that's what you have to do in today's assignment now we are going to do reading i will ask you guys to read are you guys ready are you having your books with you i'm taking names and now you have to start reading from the line one hanya rahim hanya rahim are you with me can you hear me yes ma'am okay hanya rahim can you please start the reading and the rest of the students have to keep the fingers on the line that she is reading okay okay hanya rahim please start the reading Hack made some friends next morning before it was night. Hack made his way up to the Welshman's house. Okay. He knocked on the door, and a voice called, "Who's there?" Who's Huck there? How do you ask? Huck Who's there? Hack's friend, threatening voice answered, "Do please let me in. It's only Hack friend." Okay. Yes, Now stop. Stop. Read it like this. Do please let me in. It's only Hack friend. Hania, no, please let me in. It's only Hak Finn. Very good, Hania. Stop. Hania, stop. Ajwa, please continue the reading. That's the man that can open the door of this house, night or day. Boy, we are glad to see you. Says the old Mister Jones. Very good. Hak stop. Finn. Stop. Okay, now, you said ah. You said, uh, "Are you with me?" Can you please? Huck was surprised. No one had ever spoken too kindly. No one had ever spoken so kindly to him before. The door was quickly opened, and he entered. the The old man and his boys got dressed. Now, my boy, I hope you are hungry, because breakfast will be ready soon. I. And my two boys hope you'd come back here last night to stay with us. Excellent! I was very, very nice. Very good, you said. Us so clear and so perfect. Very nice. Well done. Okay, uh, Alina Salman, please continue the reading. I Ali was very Alina Salman. Alina, Alina, just wait for a minute. I'm taking your attendance. Just wait for a while, beta. Okay, miss. <clears throat> okay, Lena, you may start. I was very frightened," said Huck, and I ran when the guns went off. I didn't stop for three miles. I've come now because I want to know what happened, and I came before it got light because I didn't want to meet those men, even if they were dead. You do look as if you have. Okay, who didn't want to? to okay, who didn't want to meet the uh, two men, even if they were dead? Hug. Hug. Okay, very good. Uh, Hug didn't want to meet. Engine Joe and Spaniard. Engine Joe and Spaniard. Spaniard. Okay, okay. Continue. You do look as you've had a bad night," said the old man. "You can sleep here when you've had your breakfast. No, they are not dead. We are sorry about that. They got away from us, but we went down to the village and told the police. They went off to 
uh, guard the river bank. Okay, stop. Bank. Okay, stop. Uh, um, who te? Who? No, no, no. Now tell me, who told everything to the police? थिंग Who is this? Delavis. Okay, Delavis. Ah, uh, you want to read? Okay, you Delavis, continue the reading. They went of the to. Yes. Delavis, are you with me? Yes, miss. Please continue the so reading. Guard the river bank. The sheriff and his men are going to search in the woods. My boy, my boys will be joining them soon. I wish we knew what they looked like. It would help a lot, but you couldn't see what they were like in the dark. Could you, boy? Oh yes, I saw them in the village and followed. Okay, them. stop, stop. Very good. Now, uh, Shanti. Shanti, are you with me? Shanti. Yes, miss. Continue. Good boy. Let me let me what they look like. One of them is the old deaf and dumb Spaniard. Dead spin around here once or twice, and others are me. It's twice, twice. Twice, and others are me looking wrecked. That's enough, boy. We know the man. We saw them in the woods at the back of the widow's place one day, and they ran off. Ran off when they saw us. Off, off with you, boys, and tell the sheriff. You can have your breakfast later. Okay, very good, very good, Shanti. Stop, Shanti. Stop. Very nice. Now, uh, Marusha. Marusha, we don't have much time. But I continue the reading if you can hear me. Got up to go. Got up to go as they were leaving. Hug jumped up and said, "Oh, please don't, don't tell anybody. It was me that told you. Oh, please. All right. Okay. Uh, uh, all right. If you say so. Hug. But uh, but some." But someone, someone ought to know. But someone ought to know how brave you were. Good, oh, Marusha. No. Okay, Marusha, stop. Umar bin Salman. Umar bin Salman, continue the reading if you are with me. Oh no! Please don't tell. When the young man had gone, the old Westman said, "They won't tell, and I won't. But why don't you want it known?" Huck would not explain, but said that he already knew too much about one of the those men. He did not want the men to know, or he might kill him. How did you come to follow these men, boy? How did you come to follow these men, boy? Read it like this. How did you come to follow these men, boy? Okay, good. Where? 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 Were they going to? They were they do? Were they doing something they should shouldn't have been doing? Okay, stop. Was, okay, okay, stop. Okay, stop. Good, Omar. Uh, Peter, we are going to stop here now because the time is running out. Thank you for being here. You have to do the assignment that I'm going to post just right after the class. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for your participation. Thank you, everyone, for being here on time. Take care. Allah Hafiz. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. Bye. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz, everyone. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Thank you, Ajwa. Bye.